Hey, um, so I've seen a report of Enzo Fernandez having this racist chant saying about black people again and about the France national team. So this was done over the Copa America, but actually um, he posted it right after he won the World Cup. Sorry, after the national team um, won the Copa America. And this was filmed during the World Cup 2022 where um where they were shouting for some the apparently about the French team the well um your passport is French but your parents are Angola. True. Well, some of them are. That's very delusional though. Um that's like saying that smart people are actually Arab but not really. Like that's also delusional and stupidity from into my opinion. But check what they said. They said something about trans people. They were sleeping trans people. Like, who in their brain mindset would ever think about that? And it's all because, like, they're attacking. This just an attack on him. Yeah. And I get it that it was banter. Some people were sensitive for whatever reason. But no, they were talking about stuff that they shouldn't even post for it all. So that's why, you know, um, my education is important for all of them because say what 100 million pounds and you talk about this yeah and they have no clue about life that's why you should never worship millionaires they are, they're just immature bunch of people some of them yeah and you know and i get it because i they come from families they have no education no privilege and they're doing absolutely nothing with their lives yeah apart from play football and that seems to be the something that we need to change um the the federation of argentina and about themselves as well so but yeah let's bring it up to it um listen spread the word they're playing france but they're all from angola they're gonna win well they like to sleep with chance people. Their mom is Nigerian, their dad is Cameroon. No. Um his um the other people are from different places. But they came but they mentioned something about the black people, yeah. They mentioned the Tory words, which you know, again, like not offended by it. But what about the fact that the England maintained German bombers and almost offended? Yeah, somehow, I know that some families are so fickle and sensitive. So that's why they had to feel like they they are so proud of it. That's all the delusion, in my opinion, the mindset that way. So it's like, why would you want to make another comment? Why would you say about that and that? Yeah, after you get all high and ego, yeah, and you get all of your attention and praise on you, now you want to downgrade on people like that. Don't care if people are not sensitive, right? but some people are in all high forms of life yeah but then nigga would say that well because if, because i and you on youtube no i just don't want to say anything yeah no, it's uh, very offensive scare life or something yeah i'm here to talk about the the mainstream and my opinion is it's not racist but they're sort of using a slur to make them think that i am the one Basically, they're just mocking France like, you're below us, you're done. And yet, I just natural team as fellow white people. I'm not the one to say that I agree. Something like that. I have a share of racism. And then some people don't care about that. I got told, go back to your country. I've been told, get out of my face, N word. I've been told a lot of different things over the years. So my aggressions, right? Which you can have a look at my life, yeah. About the fact that I've suffered along the way of life when I visited outside of um, outside of London, right? Mom, can you shut it down? I'm recording something, Mom. Anyways, no matter that. Um, but yeah. Uh, what I was saying, oh yeah, you can see a part of my life that I got suffered along the way of life, right? That I might broadcast another video about my racist, about 
my views on racism, <laughs> about views of tribes and different kind of people that have faced views and tribes and all kind of stuff for a long time. But I feel like the channel is just mocking them, which it's like, um, that's not, it's like pretty much just like playful. But sometimes it's like people have, um, I think people are so divided by opinions, right? Like that they should never go on because, and so, man, you just gotta look towards you, right? And you gotta stop thinking that you're better than everyone. You're not better. You're not better. Yeah? You are not better that way. So, that's why people are, people are gonna report this. People are gonna share the mainstream media. And of course, they will take action. They will get fined. They will um, purposely say that for whatever reason, it's um, it's, it's going to be treachery for Enzo and his fans. And by the way, the players on the Chelsea system, all are black. Even English players, even some French players. But no, so no, they won't mention players that are actually fully black. Once you get English players that are black, so that's actually you get misconception, mate. English players, yeah, they come from a different race, but some like they're ethnically, but ethnically they're white. Like me. I'm not ethnically white. Look at me. I'm African. But I grew up in England. And I might not have a job, but at least I won't be saying this. Right. Come on, man. Any brain, human mind, we never say that. That's just out of the immigrants. That's out of context. That's out of stupidity from. His team, and by the way, his team should get the same repercussions as well. Messi, I believe, did not report this. If Messi was there, he would have slapped the shit out of the other players for saying that the chance, yeah? And say, that have some respect. You know, you're Argentina, yeah? You're, you're not better, right? You're disrespectful little, little pricks or something like that. Do you know what I mean? Messi would never approve that, yeah? It's like his father would never approve that kind of shit. And they're two of their lives. And what's going on with them? Yeah, so I, um, we will see about that. Yeah, and hopefully, maybe then people can actually edu educate themselves about the levels of racism. I can educate you. The different lives we get enough, right? We don't, but maybe as I should sit down with the rest of them, they aren't, they are actually affected by it and tell them what it's like to be of a certain, uh, a certain minority race and get racial abuse. Each and each and every day. So, that's all you gotta do.